Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Braves Diva, American League, and National League. I'm going to do a gradient. I've started off with Catherine Arley's Silver Hollow, number 676, and Posh Top Coat. I also have my liquid latex on my fingertips to protect them. Here is Braves Diva, and this is National League, and this beautiful one here is American League. And I've got a wetted down sponge for my gradient. And I'm just using the two colors today. They're both gorgeous colors from a recent haul. I do believe these colors are still available. If you'd like to go check them out, I will leave a link to Tara's store down below for Brave Steva. And I'm just going in and rolling it over to begin with. And then I just start tapping. And then I reload that sponge and just keep on going with it. And we have had some serious conversations about to wet or not to wet the sponge. And um, I have had some people, because I think in one of my last videos where I did a gradient, I said something about, I don't even know why I do it. I just do it. It's something I've done for so long. But I have had some people say that they have also found that by wetting the sponge beforehand, that the sponge doesn't soak up as much polish down into the sponge. And that they also have reported that they also get a smoother gradient by wetting down their sponge. So as you can see, I've reversed the gradient for my ring finger. I'm doing it the opposite direction because I was kind of torn. I didn't know which way I wanted to face this one. So I thought, well, I'll just do an accent finger and see if I like it the other way. But I actually do prefer it with the blue tip on the end. I don't know why. I just do. So I'm just going back over them. And after I've gone through them a little bit, I do start going over a couple of nails with each reload. Um, just trying to keep it all, you know, relatively um, the same opacity. Does that make, if that makes sense, I'm not sure. Um, but I am just going to keep going over them until I'm happy with how well the color has built up. Now these just did great for a gradient. I was very, very happy, very impressed. They um, did go purple kind of in the middle where the two colors meet on the nail, and I really liked that. I thought that was super duper. And as you can see, I'm just going to keep going over it and going over it. Um, and I would also like to thank um, Robin Half, H-A-N-F-F, for um, requesting this because she did mention back a while ago, I guess when I did the swatches of these, she, she said something about, you know, I wonder how those would look, you know, in a gradient or together. So, um, Robin, here you go, girl. I did it. I didn't forget. I wrote it down so I would remember. And I'm struggling with this latex, so I'm going to go in and do what I've had people suggest I do and use the tape. Some say use your sticky lint, you know, your, your lint roller, but I'm just using some tape. And I don't know if my latex maybe is getting old, but this stuff has always worked like a dream for me. It used to go on smooth as butter, and it came off really easy. Um, I don't know if maybe there's a shelf life on it. I have had mine for several years. And I am also trying to get up any of that flaky paint that I can, that tape paint. Losing my mind today, you guys. So, but the tape trick does seem to work really well for grabbing that latex and helping you get up. So, you might be seeing me do this more often, at least as long as I'm trying to use up this latex that I've got. Because I got a big old tub of it. And I did do this over that silver base just because I didn't want to go with white to make the colors pop. I'm going to be stamping today with Nasty Curve, and that was my Bundle Monster Scraper. This is Queen Nature Lover 01. But that's my Bundle Monster Stamper. It's kind of like the big bling, and um, it's got the little gems in the bottom of it. And I am going to stamp this, and I want you to know it is, in real life, it was very noticeable. But on film, it looks very delicate, and that's okay. I, um... Sometimes I like a delicate manicure, especially when the colors are bright like that. You know, I didn't want to really take anything away from the colors, but I wanted to stamp because I'm a stampin' junkie. 
but I'm also using my clear jelly scraper and that some seems to be becoming one of my favorites I do own a lot of stampers and a lot of scrapers and I do have favorites and I don't really know why they're favorites but I am gonna start trying to rotate my stampers out in and out so that I do break more of them out and show them on my channel um, just so you can get a feel for how they work you can see me use them and see how they work uh, that way you know they all get some love too they keep I keep them stored so um, you know we're gonna, we're gonna start working them out and start trying to use them a little bit more often and the reason why I have one sitting out on my desk is because I'm real funny about um, dog hair getting stuck to everything so I try to protect them from the dog hair and but you know out of sight out of mind and you don't use them so here is my final manicure I have topped it off with posh top coat and here is the picture of my nubbies my nubbins and my swatch photo of it on my longer nails so thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself talk to you soon bye